Hi guys, I'm Clinton and in this episode we are going to incorporate a vector that we found from episode 5 into our branding. Okay, let's get going with that. So I'm going to go to File and Import Brand Elements and I'm going to select I'm going to select this one okay now that's the AI file that I'm selecting and I'm going to import it okay there you go now I just want to show you the difference between the AI and the JPEG file so this is the design file and I'm going to import and bring in the PNG file as well All right that's your PNG you hold on control okay so if you look at this one there's nothing that you can do to it you can't edit it it's locked okay it is just an image file now the design file if you right click on it you'll find that you can ungroup it so you click ungroup so now I've separated it so you can delete the different design elements as you can see Now I just want a portion of this design. I want the macron. Okay, so I have to ungroup this again. It's all one. There you go. So that's the difference between an image file and a design file. So now I'm going to be working with the macron only and making it a part of the logo. So let me delete that. I'm going to bring it together. So I'm just going to select it, bring it in. Now we can use it as is, I guess. But let's just try and split it up a bit. So I've selected the font. I'm going to control C, control V, so copy and paste. Right. I'm going to delete the macaron from there. I'm going to delete simply from this line. And now it's a bit easier to work with. I've got both together. So I can move them around and see how I like it. Now when you are working with a word brand you have a few things to think about how would your brand look in a square how would it look in a rectangle so for instance in this case Just going to make that white so it's easy to work with so i'm going to click there it's white and i'm going to put an outline on it so on the black i'm going to right click and click set stroke so if i click set full it's going to it's going to fill the square if i click set stroke it's going to um, create an outline so click on that there's your outline I'll give you an example here i'm going to click on the rectangle so if I decide that I want to make it red, I'll right click, set full, see it's red. For the moment, I'm going to make it white, set full white. And right click, set stroke as black. Okay, so it's easier for me to work with and see my proportions. So we need to see how our brand is going to look as a square and a rectangle. So for instance here, I'm going to take it and put it in. Okay, now this is a good time to explain how layers work. So because I created the font first, it's on a lower layer than the square. So that's why when I place the square over it, it blocks it. So what you would do in that case is press page down there you go so now it's at the bottom 
of all my layers and it's easier for me to see what's going on so i'm going to resize it i've selected both i select that one then hold on shift and click the other one so now they are both selected and i can resize them together while holding down control there you go and i need to bring in the logo now i can if i'm happy with the logo like this i can use it like that alternatively i'm just going to make some adjustments as to how it's going to look if it was just black and white so i'm going to select one part of it click black and the reason why it's best to work with creating your brand in black is in most of your documents when you're printing it's going to be black anyway so it's safe when creating it to just work with black and white so i'm going to select that cream or whatever in the middle nope click away Okay, I'll show you how to zoom. So there is a zoom tool here on your left. You click on that. And you see the magnifying glass. You right click, drag. Um, I'm sorry, you left click and drag over your object. And there you're zooming in. You can do it again to make it bigger. Click, drag. There you go. Now select the selection tool. So now I'm going to select this portion of the design. I'm going to make that black as well. And I wonder what happens if I make this white, how it's going to look. Mm, I think that's fine. So what I'm going to do is let me just undo. I'm going to go edit. And undo the last step. So I want to take this out all together. See if I move it. You can see how that looks. It looks a bit odd. So I'm going to select both. I'm going to select this bit, right? And I'm looking. And I'll select the cream in between. Then I'll go to path. And select difference. And. It subtracted the overlapping layer from the bottom from that oval and I'm just left with this as my object I'll try again into this design element a bit later on if you want but um, for now that's basically the way it is going to work so now my logo is just three elements in black I'm going to select it and right click and group it so when I group it now it's all together as one it's easier for me to move around without it like falling apart on me so I'm going to select and then if you right click it's going to zoom out all right so now I've got this this representation of a macron and I've got my text and i want to see how this looks together so depending on you you can maybe let me move that down there and perhaps put this on top i'm going to resize it this is really is dependent on your preference and your taste mm. Okay, I don't know about that. Let's take it. I made a copy of it and I'm going to take it over here. So let me resize it in proportion and then let's see how it looks in the rectangle. Mm. maybe like that and and then I'm going to tilt the vector so if you click on it it has the resizing handle if you click on it again you find that the handles change 
And now you can select one of them and you can actually tilt it. So just like that. Mm. I actually kind of like this as the logo. I think that's fine. So I'm going to group it. Okay, and that is what the logo looks like in a landscape format. And if it's going to be in a square, let me just delete that. You can see it's a bit of a problem now. And if we resize it, how small is it going to be? Let's have a look. Ah, it's not too bad. I think that's fine. So if it's in this format or if the required space is a bit longer, I think it works just fine. So that is going to be our brand. So that is our vector incorporated. It's starting to look like a logo or word brand. And in the next episode, we are going to work on the colors. I'll see you then.